Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, May 21st. I'm James Spann, getting ready for the warmest weather so far in 2014, as summertime is just about here. Now, there's the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite view. Big trough out west, but that's going nowhere anytime soon. But the 588 ridge, the old upper high, beginning to nose in from the west, and that's going to bring some low 90s to parts of the state later this week. That's the way things look early this morning at daybreak. You can see the warmer air covering much of the southern plains up into the Midwest. A little colder out west, but clearly, 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 we are out of the cold weather season. Pretty quiet map this morning. I uh, got some flash flood warnings up over parts of Pennsylvania. Frost advisories for parts of North Dakota, and that's about it. Later today, the weather could be active north of the state. Uh, slight risks for severe weather, uh, basically from Denver to Washington, D.C., some of the cities involved in that would be uh, St. Louis, Indianapolis, and Cincinnati. Of course, no rain down here. Tomorrow, again, slight risks north of the state, down into uh, parts of eastern Tennessee like uh, Bristol, Knoxville, Gatlinburg. Day three, which is Friday, slight risk of severe weather. Parts of West Texas, New Mexico, they don't want the severe weather. Boy, they could use the rain in pretty much the same place on day four, which is a Saturday as the weekend begins. Here's the overall rain for the next five days, ballot through Monday morning, and it's got that little light green across the state, meaning a trace to a tenth of an inch, and that would be with any isolated showers that try and pop over the weekend, but uh, there'll be very few and far between, we believe. This is where we are today at 1 o'clock off the OZGFS. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the upper high that's centered near the Mississippi Delta. Of course, the big trough continues out west, but we'll expect upper 80s today, mid to upper 80s. The sky's sunny. Tomorrow, the upper high moves basically down uh, to South Alabama, and uh, that should push us up to 90 for the first time since September 12th of last year. It'll feel like summer. Of course, it'll be sunny, and then this is Friday. The upper high drops to the south down toward Tampa. Here's a surface chart, a little weak front will be just north of the state. Uh, and again, Friday afternoon, that might kick off a shower near the northeastern corner of Alabama. Fort Payne, Scottsboro, Mentone, maybe somewhere like that. But most everybody should be sunny. And again, the high Friday at or just over 90. All right, weekend fans, it's Memorial Day. And the front washes out. The sky should be sunny for most all of Alabama. And again, the high will be around 90. Same thing on Sunday. Moisture begins to come back, but with warm air aloft, I just don't think it rains. We might mention a slight chance of a shower Sunday, but it's only a very small chance. And this is Memorial Day. Moisture does show a little increase from Dothan up to Atlanta. So maybe there could be a few scattered showers Monday afternoon, especially over East Alabama. But again, nothing widespread. Here's Tuesday. That trough that was over the West beginning to lift out over the Plain States, but uh, Again, for us, there's an increase in moisture. That would suggest the chance of scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. And I will assure you, you'll hear those words a lot between now and August. And pretty much the same deal on Wednesday. Highs mid to upper 80s, warm, muggy. And again, maybe a brief shower or storm in a few spots during the peak of the daytime heating process. We'll check the end of the forecast June the 6th. Upper high this over the Great Plains. And for us... Evidence of a moisture axis in here, maybe some rain. And again, you know, we're getting to the time of the year. We'll take any rain we can get to get the soil moist, which tends to keep the summer heat down to some degree. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream, or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.